Yep, yeah, here you go, guys. Uh, this is the news. It kind of came out uh, earlier in the week. Uh, but what everybody's talking about, um, hat tip to J Rock. He's the guy that I saw the video clip um, featuring Jim Ryan and how he's talking about uh, PlayStation actually changing um, their focus from the AAA titles that they're known for, as you can see here, Uncharted being one of them. Um, and it's been a point of pride for the people on the uh, PlayStation side. You know, the bragging rights, the AAA bangers, as they like to call them, or we call them on the Xbox side, is one and done. So, uh, yeah, dude, it's changing of uh, uh, the narrative. And if you're an Xbox guy like me, man, who's been rocking out on Xbox since uh, 2013, or the Xbox One at least. Um, yeah, man, this is a this is a validation, to Validation that uh, the con your console of choice is actually the better console. That they're doing things the right way. You know, a lot of people give Xbox a lot of crap for the Xbox One 2013 launch, which is all overblown in my opinion. Um, very overblown. You know, something that the media was pushing, and of course, Sony's rabid fanboys. Yeah, and that's the thing about the Sony side. You know, I don't really talk about Sony stuff, um, but this is pretty big. Man. This is pretty huge because this is a paradigm shift in gaming. Is, is what this is. This isn't just about Sony, you know, copying Microsoft and Xbox or copying uh, Nintendo and the Switch that they normally do. When so what Sony doing right here is an actual paradigm shift that's put into place because of the way the industry is moving. Put into place because of Microsoft and what they're doing with the Xbox, you know, which a lot of us who are in the know on the Xbox side, guys like me, um, he bought the World with Park from Gamer, Mr. 100, uh, Unlimited Production, Iraq X, uh, NWO Prime, you know, the usual spots, the usual suspects. Um, we've been talking about this, you know, ever since Phil Spencer took over, uh, basically running the Xbox division, you know, an Xbox had a lot of critics, you know, they had a lot of heat, again, unwarranted for the most part, but it is what it is, and Microsoft went about the business of actually doing business, and that's what you got to do when you are a businessman, you know, for a lot of you guys who are Sony guys, you guys forget that Microsoft is a trillion dollar company, you know, you guys are in your own bubble, in your own world, looking at, at the gaming industry from a Sony perspective and a Sony perspective only, you know, you guys have no qualms with giving crap to Nintendo guys or Xbox guys, even PC guys, which aren't even in the same ecosystem as us, to be honest with you. But this is what happens, man. This is what happens when you worry about what other people do and not focus on your own stuff, man. Because you guys have been talking trash since 2013. It's gotten really bad over the last four years. Um, and understandably so, because you guys, deep down inside, you guys know it, man. You guys know Microsoft was right. Um, you know the industry was changing, and you guys just didn't want to admit to yourself that this was the future. And now here you guys sit with egg on your face. And it's funny, man, because some of you guys who are the biggest proponent of, of saying that Microsoft going to PC with their games, uh, Microsoft is, you know, and the Xbox is dead, that um, they're going to go, you know, the way of the dinosaur, they're not going to be around in a couple years, you know, it's over for Xbox. And what was actually happening was... Microsoft with their Xbox is course correcting, looking at the analytics, looking at what the industry, the direction it was going, actually having you know, a sober thinking about what they were doing. Um, and at the same time, trying to, trying to appease not just their consumers, but you guys for some reason, you know, something I would point to potential with Microsoft, you know, but they pivoted. And when they pivoted, being a trillion dollar company, the industry took notice and this is where we are. So... Hopefully, man, you guys will learn a lesson. Hopefully, you guys will start to understand that uh, the world is not your oyster. <laughs> the gaming is bigger than what it actually is. This is something that Microsoft has come to grips with. This is something as I, as an old school gamer, has come to grips with, man. There's a lot of stuff in gaming I don't, I don't particularly enjoy, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just not my cup of tea. Maybe I'll put it that way. That's a lot better than saying it that way. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't. You know, it's not for me. But at the same time, I know there's people out there that might like those type of games or like those type of services, you know, more power to them. Um, you know, if I, if I don't like it, I don't participate in it. It's as simple as that, you know. But what I don't do is go online and start talking trash about stuff I know absolutely nothing about, especially when my point of view is biased, right? I am an expat, always been an expat. 
right? But to be honest with you, I don't live and die with video games like a lot of you guys do. Granted, I'm older than a lot of you guys. Maybe you guys take a little bit more. Maybe if I was younger, I'd be more like you. I hope not. But um, again, dude, hopefully this teaches you guys <laughs> to focus on what's important to you and what matters to you and stop worrying about what everybody else does. Like, like I said, I don't normally talk about PlayStation, but I, I'll talk about this. In this case, because it's a game changer as far as the industry industry is concerned. But as far as Sony, you know, I'll never get the console. I'll never own it. I guess I have the option of playing it on my PC. You know, I'm not a PC player. PC, All the PC does for me is offer me a second screen. And it, and then it was thanks to Microsoft. You know, again, they're not getting credit for, the, for, for what they've done in this gaming industry. From fan bases like the Sony guys. Right. You wouldn't have some of the stuff that you enjoy so much now if it wasn't for Microsoft. And once again, you're seeing Microsoft changing the industry, right? The paradigm shift again, coming from this trillion dollar company that has the Xbox. So, you know, moving forward, hopefully you guys take away um, that, you know, Life isn't an oyster just for you guys, right? There's a lot of us out here who are gamers. So, and we'll see, man. I don't know. And you guys are, uh, the tone deafness on the PlayStation side is, is, is amazing uh, when I look at it. But, um, yeah, so enjoy your games on PC. Uh, stop worrying about what other people are doing. Worry about your own company. Support your company. Support your games. You know, these AAA bangers. And, again, to the Xbox guys, Vindication, all these years, you were right. You're right to stick with Xbox. You're right to understand what, what AAA games really mean. And I love this, um, that this um, narrative is finally going to die. I've been talking about it for the last couple of years. Because I don't have a problem with AAA games. I think AAA games are good. They serve a purpose. But, they only, <clears throat> but they're, only part, they're only part of the industry. They're not, they don't dominate the industry. You know, the the um, comparison I've always made is, is with movies. You, know, you have your Avengers, which is that big block summer blockbuster, right? And then you have your <clears throat> you have your Golden Globe Academy Award winning type of movies, which not everybody goes and sees. It's made up for a particular type of movie goer, and there's nothing wrong with those, man. I mean, I, I count myself a little bit of a uh, a movie uh, fan as well, on, on a level above just what the standard movie goer goes. And watches, not just summer fair. I, mean, I like to watch good movies as well. See good acting, good story, good scripting, uh, great cinematography, right? But this is what the AAA games are, or we're getting, and, you know. And, and it costs a lot of money to do these games, right? Because it's still trying to make high art, and high art costs a lot of money in video games, if you guys didn't know. You know, and and for you Xbox guys, this is why Microsoft never really focused on the AAA games. It's not because they hated AAA games, or or, or they couldn't do it. You know, it is a money thing, man. And when you break it down and you're looking at what works and what doesn't work, it has its place in gaming, but it is not the end-all, be-all. And that's what I love the most about this. That's why I like what Jim Ryan is doing. Jim Ryan is coming in in the same way that Disney brought in Bob Chapek, in the same way that um, WB brought in their new guy. Um, or actually, WB was bought, and this dude's coming in and trying to change stuff. Because what if the bottom line is money, and you want that, right? Because it keeps these companies honest. You know, I have my issues with Microsoft. Um... But so far, they've been doing a great job. When, when, I, when, when things get bad, then I'll talk about it on this channel, most definitely. But right now, they're knocking it out of the park. And again, I love that they're doing this because this, once again, signals um, that all this narrative that Sony guys have been running with, man, they are the worst in our gaming, uh, in the gaming industry, man. They're the worst fandom in gaming um, is dead. You know, it's gone, right? You guys will be just like the rest of us. You know, not hovering above us like you guys are, are better than the rest of the every, uh, fandom in this gaming industry, right? Because reality has just smacked you upside the head. Jim Jim Ryan, you should be thanking um, Sony for going with Jim Ryan. This is why he was brought in. He's going to pivot. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it, man. You guys are already changing your tune. You most hardcore of hardcore Sony fans who are just hating on Microsoft, you know, all, talking all this trash, you guys are already accepting what Sony is doing, which is par for the course. I mean, if I was Sony, I'd do whatever I wanted to do because you guys will never... Um, you guys will never question that, which is what, you know, the main problem is. So this is why we guys are mad. Right? Because Sony actually does whatever they need to do. And, 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 and I applaud them because I think this is a good thing for them. I'm not going to buy the console, but, you know, and in, in, a, in a way I don't have to, right? <laughs> to play it on PC, but I'm not really a PC guy. But, um, 
you know, this is them acknowledging where the industry is going and basically acknowledging that um, Xbox is running. You know, even I have to uh, kind of admit, you know, with uh, Phil Spencer, man, I don't like his methods sometimes, uh, the way he does things. I mean, I mean as far as a business, it's nothing personal. Um, but, hey, it's worked. And, you know, you got to give credit where credit is due. And he did it with a wink and a smile. And now everybody's, you know, he's like the Pied Piper at this point. I mean, I'm not saying he's like the like mastermind of everything, but, you know, just, just the fact that they knew where the industry was going and, and did what they needed to do to uh, course for So uh, kudos to Microsoft. And... Again, man, shout out to all you dudes out there in the Xbox community who stay strong, man. You guys know who you are, right? Um, you're Xbox all in, you're Xbox strong, you guys fought the good fight, and uh, now you're reaping the benefits. Anyway, I want to keep this video short. I tried to put one out um, yesterday, I don't know, I was having all kinds of problems. I tried to do it live, all that stuff. So if you guys did see my commentary, but wondering what happened, um, I don't know. I'm just trying to get this video out, so hopefully it works. Anyway. All in channel. Uh, I got some more videos coming up. Some, <clears throat> excuse me. Some stuff that I wanted to talk about. The EA um, acquisition rumors and all that kind of stuff. All right. I'll put more content on in the channel. But anyway, let me know what you guys think down below, man. And uh, again, congratulations. Congratulations. Open the champagne. Uh, this is a win. All right. All in channel. Post it forever. We out.